Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Mike Ski. I sing in a band from New York City called the AKAs. I got into vegetarianism about 10 years ago, through um, mostly through my involvement in the hardcore and punk scene. And I had the chance to meet a person that I became really good friends with through putting on shows in my area. This, his name is Chris Logan, and he sang in a band called Chokehold. When I, when I first met him, I had a really <coughs> skewed idea of animal rights. I thought that, you know, people that were, that were um, into it were kind of like undermining some sort of value system. It took me meeting one person who took the time to just explain things to me to really change like my whole view of the whole thing. Now it's just like, it's become a second nature to me. It's just part of who I am and I don't ever, you know, think about what I'm giving up. You know, like I've been straight edge for 15 years, but I'd fucking drink and shit before I ever ate meat. Back then was also a time where, you know, information about animal rights was really prominent in the hardcore scene and the punk scene. Every show you would go to, there was always tables with people promoting stuff and have just like tons of literature and information. And I feel like that's something that really has declined over the years. And I'm <clears throat> really excited to see it back and you know seeing people at shows handing out stickers and pamphlets and having you know videos and TVs once again I feel like it's just that patience and that like taking the time to understand that you know a lot of the reasons why people don't you know they don't accept something so quickly is because they just need somebody to really explain it to them in a way that makes sense for them but I'm a person who doesn't really like, yeah, I hear a bunch of numbers and they just go through my head. I'm not super, like, I don't read tons of books and, like, retain information really well. But the one statistic that really made me happy about what I do is that <clears throat> every vegetarian over a year's time saves one acre of land. And that was something that, that I think that, you know, I kind of constantly remind myself. And that's something that I... I share with other people who a lot of times ask me how I can be vegetarian. It's like a time where it's really, really easy because there's so many like alternative products that are you can buy like in a regular grocery store. You don't need to spend like twice as much money on food as you would like going to some obscure health food store. I feel like it's it's something that if you feel strongly about and it's in your heart, then you're not really giving up anything because. You stand so much more to gain for yourself and for the animals and for the environment as a whole. So, good luck. Thank you.